been mm -hmm. right. long. Although yeah. we don't have that kind of snow no. yet. No, you know what? I do. I feel very confident that we will not get four feet of snow <laughs> today. I'm, go I, I'm just going to throw that dart, right. and I think it's going to stick. What about really? Saturday? I don't think we're going to get four feet of snow on Saturday. Really? I really love do a that. confident weather person. <laughs> I feel very confident about that. Also confident, beautiful faces outside our State Street studio window, keeping warm. Happy holidays to all <laughs> strolling down State Street. But let's talk about the weekend, shall we? And we find ourselves, we forecasters, in a little bit of a pickle. And that's because this system is really still a couple of days away. So changes in our forecast track and timing. Oh, yeah, very, very possible. Let me show you something. All right, these were the models that we were looking at yesterday. The model yesterday was suggesting that the main low was going to go from about Tennessee into the mid-Atlantic states, keeping the heavier snows north of the system, putting the Chicago area as a very good bet to get some real heavy snow on Saturday. This morning's models are now suggesting this low, which has now all of a sudden in the forecasting models moved about a thousand miles north from the central plains up towards southern Wisconsin on Saturday. Now putting us in a warmer sector for a bit of time on Saturday, starting off this precipitation as more of a rain event on Saturday, keeping the heavier snow north of the system. And this is why we find ourselves in this forecasting pickle, because the models are changing with, really, each subsequent run. So we'll continue to monitor that. Right now, our microcast computer model is also suggesting that much of what we're going to see Saturday afternoon is going to be rain. Probably not even rule out a few thunderstorms around here Saturday to afternoon either. And then Saturday night into Sunday morning, we'll wrap some snow in around that system. And it looks like the accumulations, based on that model, would be fairly minor. We're not looking at 6 to 10 inches of snow based on that model. This storm system still well out into the eastern Pacific, really, in the formatting stages. 30 degrees will be our high today. A nice recovery from 5 this morning. 21 right now at O'Hare, a south wind at 13, and a wind chill of 9. 22 at the lakefront, now 21 at O'Hare, and 20 degrees currently at Midway. We've managed to thin out the cloud cover a bit this morning, been offered some bonus sunshine. But later this afternoon, while I think we could see a few flurries around as early as maybe 2 o'clock this afternoon, I really think it's going to be closer to 4 or 5 when we start to get some light snow in the area. And at times it may come down with an intensity that does reduce the visibility for a brief period of time during the evening commute today. As far as accumulations with this system today, we're looking at anything from about a half an inch along that I-80 corridor farther raised up. 